Hello everyone, I am Shane1288 here with your weekly RuneScape Bite for Tuesday, April 3rd, 2018. This week's RuneScape update focuses largely on ninja fixes and patch notes, so let's just jump right in. So starting off this week, you may now use a Soul Talisman, Soul Tiara, Omni Talisman, Omni Talisman Staff, Soul Talisman Staff, or the Wicked Hood if you've unlocked the Soul Altar on it, to open fountain access to the Soul Altar beneath Menaphos. We also see some changes this week to the Stalker Slayer creatures that were released in the first update of the year this past January. The damage against magic creatures when using the Hex Hunter bow has been increased from 10 to 12.5%. The base accuracy of the Hex Hunter bow has been increased by 10%. Elite Soul Gazers will now roll three times on the regular loot table. And when attacking a monster which deals magic damage your hex, with your Hex Hunter bow, it will now display an icon on the monster bar, which lets you know that your damage bonus is working against them. An issue has been fixed with setting up action bars on the ability bar that caused the game to think that you were still on Tutorial Island. Setting fires on Tutorial Island is now prevented by adjacent blocking. Some blocking tiles have been removed from the survival skills area of Tutorial Island. The mining tutor on Tutorial Island now checks your worn equipment for the bronze dagger that you smith for him, in case you equip it before the worn equipment interface becomes available. So as we can see here, a number of changes to Tutorial Island, as we discussed a number of weeks ago on RSBNB Update. Looks like Tutorial Island is making its way back. It is now possible for augmented items that degrade to an inert state that are listed below to reach level 20 by combining them with another copy to recharge them. The following rules apply. Remaining charge of the two will be combined and any excess lost. Perks are retained and transferred, and only one of the copies may have perks when combining. The greatest item XP of the two items is retained, they won't be combined, and died objects that require the non-died variant and the resulting object remain died. Augmented items that are affected by this that can be combined include the augmented Serenic Halberk, Chaps, and Dyed Variants, the augmented Malevolent Keras, Greaves, and Dyed Variants, the augmented Tectonic Robe, Top, Bottom, and Dyed Variants, the augmented Refined Anima Core Bodies, Legs of Saren, Zaros, Zamorak, and Sliske, augmented Superior Tops, Legs, and Weapons of Zeriel, Stadius, Vestus, and Morgan, and now the Visualize option will now lay allow you to change your skybox or filter anywhere you like, except for Raxor's cave. The Master Camouflage outfit will now display in text by their name how many strikes your elf clans have given you when using it to teleport. A new lunar spell, Spin Flax, has been added with a level 81 magic requirement after the completion of the Dream Mentor quest. A permanent grappling hook can now be made with a mithril crossbow, five mithril bars, and a mithril grapple. This can be added to the tool belt. The King Black Dragon and Giant Mole now have boss health bars during their encounters, and the Giant Mole health bar will display after its tutorial is completed. The Kingdom of Miscellanea will now provide additional resources at midnight game time instead of 24 hours since your last collection. Slayer Shops will now correctly restock the Slayer Drem packs at midnight, and the Tool Belt interface has been updated and reworked. The main focus of this update is to provide players with more useful information, as well as provide better future-proofing for adding additional Tool Belt items. And finally, when getting your first Slayer task, Gelatinous Abominations from Turiel or Spyra, the Slayer UI counter is now turned on. Also in-game, you can find Ninja Fixes Survey Number 2 in your Community tab, and some of the questions on here include, should the defense requirement to use curses be removed? Should 120 Slayer, Invention, and the Master Quest Cave broadcast be changed so that broadcasts across all worlds? And should we make the Remember for 30 Days option default to Yes when being prompted for Authenticator? Should we make it so that players on your Ignore list are unable to view your online status? Should the green friend dot take priority over the orange clan member dot when displayed on the minimap? And should a one-use teleport to the Priftinus waterfall fishing be sold in Miss Hill's fishing shop? That's it for this week's weekly RuneScape Bite. You can catch up with us in-game at Friends Chat Bits Bites, and RSBNB Update is released every weekend on this YouTube channel. If this video was at all useful to you, like or subscribe. We'll see you this weekend, everyone.